In the late 1920s, the Cotton Club became one of the most legendary establishments in American history. What was the Cotton Club? How did it become famous? The Cotton Club got its start in 1920, when heavyweight boxing champion Jack Johnson opened a supper club in Harlem. Three years later, the club was sold to notorious bootlegger Oni Madden. Madden used the club as a way to distribute high-priced alcohol to a ritzy upper-class crowd. As the 1920s progressed, the Cotton Club became well known as one of the most popular and exclusive nightclubs in the country. It was a whites-only establishment, and wealthy customers would line up to enjoy the club's mixture of entertainment and alcohol. The club catered to the legendary and the famous. On any given night, it would not be surprising to see Jimmy Durante, George Gershwin, or Al Jolson making a visit. Mae West and Irving Berlin were also known to frequent the club. Despite the club's white clientele, the performers at the venue were all African American. Some of the finest singers, dancers, actors, comedians, and instrumentalists that Harlem had to offer all performed at the Cotton Club. The Cotton Club musical reviews, known as the Cotton Club Parade, became legendary. Many talented entertainers got their start and their first taste of fame in the Cotton Club. Fats Waller, Louis Armstrong, Count Basie, Lena Horne, Billie Holiday, Bill Bojangles Robinson, and Sammy Davis Jr. all performed at the Cotton Club. However, throughout the late 1920s, the true star of the club was the leader of the house band, Duke Ellington. Each week, a live radio broadcast aired from the Cotton Club, and Ellington became known nationwide as a composer, piano player, and band leader. The patrons of the Cotton Club were high-paying, wealthy customers. When they entered the club, they expected to see the best Harlem had to offer. As a result, many of the Cotton Club performers were well-paid, especially when compared to other African Americans living in Harlem. However, they were strictly forbidden from mixing with or associating with the guests. They were not allowed to drink or linger in the club. The entertainers performed twice a night, at midnight and again at 2 a.m. After each performance, they would relax in the basement of a neighboring building. The Cotton Club continued to be popular into the 1930s. In 1936, the club moved to a new location outside of Harlem. Additional branches of the Cotton Club also existed in Chicago and California. The Cotton Club closed its doors forever in 1940 after allegations of tax evasion and the changing taste of the public simply passed it by. <laughs>